Let's head to the phone line now as we are joined by the head coach of the Washington Patriots, Terry Ray. Coach Ray, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. How about you guys? Doing all right as we take a look at last week's game for you guys. Unfortunately, a loss to Hedgesville. Competitive first half, but the Eagles were able to take control in half number two. What were your takeaways from that game? Uh, defensively, we did really well in the first half. Second half, we had some breakdowns in our coverages, and it, it cost us later on. Uh, offensively, uh, Isaiah DeLauder ended up not playing the game because he has an ankle injury. Uh, it kind of hurt us a little bit, took us out of our uh, our norm of our running game. But uh, we had to play four quarters of football. Coach, you mentioned that having to play a complete game. Um and obviously, you know, that's a big step that you're trying to, I guess, take with this team. Uh, last year they had that game against Hedgesville where they had a big lead and uh, unfortunately, you know, kind of fell apart in that second half. It's a young group. How do you, I guess, continue to build this team and uh, get them prepared to play a full four quarters each and every week? We keep talking about it each week. If you guys look back at uh, the past five weeks, each game, we've had a quarter where we're just not performing very well, and it's cost us a few times, and we've gotten lucky a few times and played the fourth quarter. Uh, we tell the kids every day, oh, we got to play four quarters of football. Even when we start hitting quicksand, we got to work our way out of it so we don't dig ourselves in a hole. Coach, you mentioned the injury to Isaiah DeLauder in the game. Is that something that's going to affect him going forward in any future games? Uh, right now, uh, we're hoping that he'll play this week. Uh, he, he went and seen doctor. Uh, he's just got a high ankle sprain. Uh, we're waiting and seeing, and he's rehabbing. So he's a game-time decision on Friday. Looking at your schedule, it appears you guys have a bye week. Who do you guys have this Friday? Uh, we got say that again. What I'm looking at has you guys listed for a bye week. Who do you guys have this Friday? No, we have Spring Mills this week. Our bye week. Oh, my apologies. Week. For some reason, that one's disappeared. So my apologies here looking at that. I don't know why. But uh, for Spring Mills, then let's get into this week's game. A team that is definitely improved looks to be one of the tough teams in the EPAC. What have you seen from them? Uh, defensively, they fly to the ball. They're very sound. Offensively, they've got some playmakers and they run the ball very well. How do you prepare, or what are some of the things you guys will need to do to get the win on Friday? Uh, we definitely have to step up our run defense against their offense. Uh, their Max, their quarterback's a threat either through the air throwing the ball or running the ball. They've got two really good wide receivers and a running back solid. Their O line kind of reminds me of ours. They, they they're big. Every once in a while they make mistakes, but they they come off the ball and control the line of scrimmage. Defensively, they're sound. They fly to the ball. Uh, you can tell they're coached very well defensively. What sort of extra challenges would you say kind of comes with that sort of dual threat quarterback that your defense has to go against? We just got to make sure we got our eyes on him. Uh, defensive ends need to make sure they're taking away the quarterback. Everybody else can worry about the running back. Uh, especially in pass situations, we need to try to keep him in the pocket. I know he's really good on his feet and get outside and extend plays. So I just want to go back. Uh, you mentioned DeLauder had an injury. Um, how's the rest of the team looking, though? Anybody uh, else pretty, injured or, for the most part, pretty healthy? We're pretty much where we are going into week six. Uh, we got a couple bumps and bruises here and there. We're pretty healthy outside of Isaiah. So, I mean, we got a couple guys that are beat up us a little bit, but them are bumps and bruises you get through playing five weeks of the season. Coach, when you look at uh, their program in Spring Mills, kind of a similar situation, you know, in terms of what you're trying to do at Washington. They were very young a few years ago. They've just kind of grown and, and built that team up. Is, is that a similar thing that you hope in a, a few years your program can kind of get to this level where they're now you know, beating the Musclemans and uh, certainly looking like one of the top teams in the EPAC this year? That's the plan. When when I came in, that was the plan I presented. I Give us two, three years to see what we could do. Uh, our young guys are learning more. We're getting a lot of experience, guys who didn't play varsity football a whole lot last year. Uh, I have a few seniors that are going to graduate at the end of this year that I wish were underclassmen. But, I mean, we're, we're repping, we're learning. Our kids are getting the experience, and that's what we're trying to do. We want to turn this around and turn it into a good football program. Here about halfway through the season, 
What would you say you've noticed most when it comes to the biggest improvement from, you know, preseason, beginning of the season into now? We're getting better at our film study and our practice tempo. Uh, For weeks, I've been telling the kids that we just aren't practicing right, we're not practicing right. And last week, we started to pick it up a little bit more. The guys are paying attention more to little details that they really didn't pay attention to before. And it's improving each week, and hopefully it'll start showing a little bit more on the football field. And as we said this week, taking on Spring Mills, a team that it's going to be a tough matchup. How much would it mean to your program, though, to get the upset against the Cardinals? If we can go into Spring Mills and pull up a win, it's going to be it's real big. That would probably be one of the bigger wins we've had here in Washington in a while. All right, Coach, anything else? Nope. Come out and see us Friday night at Spring Mills. All right, appreciate the time, and good luck Friday. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you.